Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Ah. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subscribers. Um, where you been? What you been doing? Did the bear get him? Did that big Kodiak bear get him? Left him out in the woods? No. Did the tsunami get him? No. Something did get me though. But anyway. <clears throat> What's been going on is here about three weeks ago I took a trip over to the big city, Anchorage. Went over there to see some very special relatives. And I was over there for a week. Then I come back. And you know when you fly in them airplanes? Pshhh, you're breathing all that recycled air and what not. And, but, but, but. and I got the flu bug or something. <clears throat> Still got a little tad of it. Um, but I thought I could at least get up a video and uh, give you guys an update and what not. But anyway, I went down hard with the flu bug. And that lasted about two weeks. And even after the fevers and all that went away and everything else that comes along with the flu, um, I've just had this incessant cough. I, it just won't go away. So I'm just now getting to where I can speak without sitting there continually coughing. <coughs> I will edit out as much of that as I can. Um, but I just wanted to do a short video here kind of to update you guys on that's why I ain't been in doing videos or whatever just been sicker than a dog and then I had some traveling to do and whatnot and I'm slowly crawling back but uh, drink lots of liquids so I'm doing that and uh, it was a it was a rough bug I, I will say that um, but anyway we're back and what we're going to do in this video is get back on this little seagull, um, depending on my throat and whatnot. <clears throat> um, but we're going to at least do an unboxing video. If you watch my last video, uh, I brought this little British seagull in here, and it's missing some things for sure. But while I was down there in Florida, liquidating my property down there, I had come across one of these old seagulls and uh, at a yard sale and I bought it. And I took it all apart as much as I could, put it in two big flat rate boxes, and I sent it to myself, to my little old self, I sent it to, to myself. See it's from me, but in, 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 to me, so from me to me, right there, right there, right there behind me, right there. So, we're going to get, uh, I'm going to take another sip of water, let's throw it. Good Alaska water. Feels good on my throat. So I think I'm going to go get a cough drop, and then we'll come back and get to opening these boxes and see what all I put in there. You understand? And I just hope while I was packing this stuff all up, letting it sit on my carport down there, some big old nasty Florida creepy crawly thing didn't crawl in there, what gonna get me? Let's get to open up. Well, as you can see, we still getting our little dustings of snow every day. It'll, it'll go snow tonight. And as the sun comes up, it'll start raining. We're still dealing with the 20s and such like that. I want to see it go, but you want to know who wants to see it go. Poor Fred. Poor Fred. Fred's still dealing with the snow. Yeah, we're still 
getting our nightly dusting of snow. It's cold. Hey, but at least the outboards ain't buried. But yeah. Fred is one unhappy little camper. He's ready to go. He's ready to go to the Bahamas. Poor Fred. Alrighty. Uh, move that one over there. And let's get to opening these. See, I don't even remember exactly what I put in them. Well, I guess we'll need this. There's the propeller five-bladed weird thing so we got that okay. there's something we'll get in there okay here's the busted up lower unit on this one it's not all busted was busted. So I don't know if I kept that little piece or but anyway the innards is really all I need and it's got this this thing I don't know really dirty but it's got that thing that sticks down skeg Well, it's in that box. All right. <coughs> so in that one we had two pieces of all. These are little fuel filters. I'll show you one of those in a minute. Pretty cool. I bought them at a thrift shop down there and I really think they're neat. I'll show you those. Okay, here's pretty much the rest of it. Well, here's that gas tank. And they painted them black. But you can see maybe right there at the opening of it where you feel that it's brass brass nozzle and the tank themselves are brass. You can see just a little bit of the writing. It's mostly gone. Help if I turn it the right way, huh? British Seagull. So I'll have to look at those other ones out there and see how that even mounts. Here is the garbage Rator. And the throttle and everything, and there's that hose I need. And I'll probably use, end up using this whole carburetor, because I thought that other carburetor I have is different. Yeah, see this one has a banjo fitting affair. And even though this one is kind of the same, it hooks in through the bottom of the bowl. This one hooks in above the float bowl. So there's little differences. That's the one that came off the engine. Uh, I guess in shipping, the spark plug boot thing got busted. It's in three pieces in here. 
These are some points. I don't know what they go to. Oh, these are off and on switches. Take that back. They're just little off and on switches. And here is the pinion gear, <coughs> I think. Shift rod handle. I got the whole flywheel, magneto stator, and everything. One one big lump sum came off. Here's the flywheel cap for starting it. Here. Yeah. It's that spring affair. A couple of them. And the prop nut. And I don't know how this works even. It's got a couple of springs. A washer and a nut. Here is just miscellaneous. It's the spark plug. No, oh, there's the prop nut. Assorted nuts, plastic pieces. But between these two boxes, <coughs> excuse me. Heck, I don't know. I might be able to just... You know what's weird? This don't even have a float bowl. I mean, it's got the side float bowl. But... Totally different than this other one. You see, this one actually has a bowl. It's been repaired with something kind of goo, but it's got a bowl. This one really doesn't have a bowl. I mean, it's got the, the side tank bowl. So, yeah. Don't know, I'll have to come up with something to get one of these two carbs on there. Garbage Raiders! This one. Yeah, they both seem to just kind of push on there with a nut and such that goes there. This one has a piece of nylon in it, that one don't. Or yet, maybe it does. No, that looks metal. I can't tell if that's nylon or not. Looks metal though. But, we'll get this motor over here. And, we can at least look and see if the old garbage reader. goes right there. Just kind of clamps onto this. Oh yeah. Looks like she fit on there to me if I clean it up a little bit. I believe I got that upside down. I do believe. But yeah, it looks like it will go on there anyway. Like I said, the whole thing needs to be cleaned up. But yeah. This is tilted too, so yeah. If we untilted it, it fit on there a little better. That's how that would go. And then this would come on up to the bottom of that tank. Now this bracket is made for that big fat tank. So If they're the same horsepower, it'd probably be all right. This cable here shot, and luckily this one's good. So first thing I'm going to have to do is get this garbage raider ungarbaged. See that 
that's a problem right there I can see because that it may or may not make I mean it I could take all this and put on here probably and then it would fit in there but these two are different sizes this one's missing the float needle and all unless it's down in there but it's gone I, I don't I'm assuming there used to be a needle like this in there but I don't know that I don't know nothing about these things Yeah, there had to be a needle in there, almost assuredly say, but I don't know, this one's flat, kind of, well, not completely, but mostly flat, it's got a little of, of a slant chamfer there, where this one's got quite a bit, boy, you see all folks out there weigh in on this stuff and let me know, because I don't know, I know I can change probably this to this, it's probably the same cable and then that would fit that carb and we might just have to try it I don't know don't know if I can I don't know if I have another fuel hose and I really hate the way they made these fuel hoses with hard plastic yeah this one if I cut it off you know if it leaks or something <clears throat> Looks like there would be at least enough to put a piece of rubber and a hose clamp. Hard telling, not knowing. Maybe it's time for me to look for a seagull book. Because I don't have one. I sure don't. But... I think that's what I'll do, is get this carburetor apart, clean it all up, see if I can switch out the barrel slides, and then i got to go look at one of my other seagulls and see how that gas tank gets bolted on. The tank itself has two bolts sticking out of the bottom, whereas the tank that came with this one didn't. This might be a... A, a bigger engine as far as horsepower goes. I don't even know how you tell what horsepower they are. That's what's funny about these seagulls to me is just about every one of them seem to be different. If you look at there, that one's got a four blade prop that has a skinny tube. The midsection tube there is real skinny. It has a bold carburetor with a horn. And what I mean by horn is a horn looking thing. And the choke on it is brass, looks like. I don't know, that might be plastic, it might just be a different color. But it's got a horn, it's got a deeper bowl. It has the banjo fitting. And the hose is all hard. It's got the uh, brass tank that's been smacked. And like I said, this tube here is a lot thinner. And then it's got a four blade prop on it. And I'm not... Let me look before I lie to you. Yeah, I see no gear shift mechanism on this one. There's no shifter going down there. So this one you must start in gear. But the gas tank, hopefully that other one in there will have these two bossings here where them two bolts that are brazed to this tank, they just stab through here and you put a nut. That's a lot easier. Well, hopefully that's what we got going there. And I'll show you another one. This one's got a uh, painted brass gas tank as well. It has the shifter. Right here. It has the shift. Brass gas tank with its normal dent. 
This one has the same carb as that one I sent from Florida. It's got no bowl, or it's got a side bowl. Gear shifter. It's got the big pipe back here. See, it's got the much thicker pipe. If you look at this pipe, and then look at that one over there, they're different affairs. So, <coughs> interesting. Yeah, and this tank bolts on just like it. So hopefully, that's all I'll have to do is cut off them two bolts in there and be able to bolt the new tank on. So here are these two bolts I was talking about. I just cut the heads off of them with Diablo. This will come off and then these are bossed right here so that that gas tank will go right in there and then just put the nuts back on. That would be a lot easier in this contraption. And then the carburetor we got to figure out. This whole gear shifting setup. I don't know. I don't know, sorry. But, what do I do with it? Somehow, I don't know what all goes in this thing. This, well, yeah, it will. But once I get it seated all the way forward. So I basically got to clean up everything. Yeah. I don't know what any of this does. See, I, I'm not sure. Here it shows for a Carter key. But this thing's just an empty cup when you look at it. And if I remember right, that spring and all went, see that cut out there? It went in there some kind of fair. So I gotta find a, some stuff online. And then I gotta get things cleaned up. So. Strange motors. Okay, first thing we gotta get this bracket off. I don't know if I, I think I'll cut it from the top. Let me lower this down so Okay. Ah, shoot, I gotta stick something down in it. Ah, but it is so it don't get any worse than it is. Just a little piece of paper. There we go. You know what? I can just take it off, can't I? Doi. Doi. It's alright, it's alright. It's okay, it's alright. Alright, um Diablo. Diablo. <laughs> it's Diablo. Diablo. It's Diablo. Oh, oh, for sakes of heaven. Diablo. That's a fact. There goes one.
Dos. Let's go, let's go. Everything's falling. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Now I'm going to save this bracket because if I decide to use the bigger tank in the future, so I'll wire wheel this thing real good. A couple coats of primer and paint and just hang on to it with the other tank because I may need it it would be easy to fabricate that but yeah, let's see if I can get the rim and them and them and them and I'm going to need a punch I do believe that one. That one being a little bit harder. Let me get a flatter punch. That's not a punch. Oh, that one's point two. Man. Looks about like the right kind. There we did it. Now, let's see if the old other gas tank. There's another bit of good news. The, uh, the cap off that bigger tank screws right in. And this is Got my lock washers, my nuts, everything. Got the little rubber cushioners. So I don't want to lose none of that. And I just dropped it. Of course. It's a horse, a horse, and all that mess. Um, okay, you see those? It's got like studs sticking out of it. And they should. The carburetor's on this side, so. Looky there. Looky there. Yeah, she'll do. It's all there is to that. Now, I've seen people where they take these down to shiny brass or I could sand it down Paint it black, and I believe you can get the decal. Or, as they say, it's only original. Ones. You understand? So, there's another demon. It's only original. When I opened this box, I told you there was something else I wanted to show you. I got these at a thrift shop down there by my property that I sold in uh, Florida. And I looked it up on the internet there, and it was CTT Tools. Cow Hawk. C-A-L-H-A-W-K. Cowhawk Tools. And I'll show you this if I can get this little price sticker thing off so see it on her board. Fridge shop. Okay. But I don't know if you can 
juicy up there or not. As you can see, I got a bunch of them hanging up there. I've got six, seven, at least seven. I've given some to some of my buddies. Um, but what I, I thought was cool about it, <coughs> give the boys. Eliminates damaging water from airlines, allowing cool perform at a maximum efficiency. So that would be like pneumatic cool. And uh, yeah, easy to handle and normal. Comes equipped with a quarter inch MPT. Deal, but uh, it's made of glass and heavy-duty steel and then there's some brass and then there's the filter element and I thought why couldn't this be used on an outboard for the same exact purpose right there it says water separator and you've noticed as airflow. Well, that could be the same as fuel flow to me. And that's what the package looks like on the front. But I'm going to try it on a fuel line. Oil and water separator. And I don't know why you'd want to separate the oil. Oil and water separator. Hmm. But I was looking at the thing and I was like, what I thought was cool about it, and you go, well, how do you get the water out of it? It's got a little Schrader valve right there. So when you're looking at this thing, so if I just took a little rubber brass, whatever, and mounted it somewhere in the boat like that and had my fuel line coming in and then out to the outboard and then if I noticed it had water in there I would just push this little straighter out and the water would drain out just like a big water separator for a boat it's just these could be used in line on a uh, portable so there it is it's, I mean it's really well made it's all glass and good heavy steel and brass in there. Schrader valve's got a big thick o-ring on it so I'm gonna give it a try and we'll see how it works out. I don't know if it'll work but the reason why I thought it probably will is because at this thrift store I was at just like the points I've got boxes of points and off and on switches and some other stuff. It was mostly outboard related stuff. Um, I can't remember what all was in there, but there was um, quick connects for Evan Rube Johnson, which I thought were really cool. They're red, and I got them around here somewhere. But there was a lot of outboard stuff, and these were in there as well. So I don't know if somebody had, was using them for that, but that's what I'm going to try with it. Um, so it basically be an inline filter, but it has the water separating capability. I even have, it might be out in my Merc, I think it is. I have another big marine glass filter that's meant to be inline, but it doesn't have the water separating capabilities. And I thought that's kind of neat. So I'll get one of them put together as soon as it warms up and I can get out in my boat. I'm jonesing. <coughs> Excuse me. But, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to show that to you. I shipped it up here with my box of sea gullet parts and, uh, and thought I wanted to remember to show you those. And then we'll put one in my fuel line and I'll let you know how that thing works. Because it could be such a fine filter in there, it won't, if you've got mixed gas, won't let the oil and gas through so we'll have to see but I'll test it on my 40 DT my DT 40 Suzuki 
and we'll see how it does. Well, this one's getting a little long. My throat's still a little scratchy. Um, but that's where I've been. That's what I've been doing. You understand? So that is one more hack from Kodiak. And thanks for watching. More vids are a coming on Inside Out Boys with your host.